Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much. It's Max from the Max Creation. What are we talking about? We are talking about what you call the recruitment agencies. We are talking about the manpower agencies. For any country or for those countries that you may be coming from, you may call them recruitment agencies or you may call them manpower agencies. But the question is that, why, which is a genuine manpower or which one is a genuine recruitment agency i know most of the recruitment agencies have ended up scripting or what you call eating people's commission because of the gains of deceiving them to have the jobs in one way or the other but by the way the question is that which one is a genuine recruitment agency i know it may sound weird but it may sound true to some extent or to any way you may want to take it but the truth is this is the truth and we need to share the truth in one way or the other. Unlike the two regions that we need to compare, for example, people who are coming from Africa and people coming from the Asia, there are two differences between these two regions or these two continents. There's a continent that has more benefits than even the other continent. And what am I talking about? That people coming from Africa, we are so disparate that we do not have the benefits that people coming from Asia that they have. That we have very many agencies that are not registered by the government or many agencies that are not even permitted to do their work. And they've ended up eating what you call uh, our money or eating your commission, uh, ended up uh, promising you even what does not exist. By the way, the question is that who is, who is, or what is that genuine recruitment agency? Yes, before you go to any recruitment agency, I will urge you to you, first find out with, the, with that agency. First find out the reputation of that agency. Try to ask people around, for people who have traveled or for people who have traveled with that agency. Try to ask, before even that agency advertises that job, try to find out if that job exists. So many times I keep on telling people, you can try to trick these people in one way or the other. Although some, to some extent, these people may not let us want to know of what is happening. You can try to ask, by the way, which company am I going to? Which company am I going to work to? You can just go straight in Google. That's a good thing with what you call the, what you call the, the, uh, the technology that is moving today. You can try to go to Google, try to search that company, whether that company exists. If this agent really does not tell you the company you are going to work to, definitely that is a fake agent. Is a fake agent. He's trying to eat your commission in that absence, trying to get you covered, and he's not going to take you to a genuine. That's why people have ended up to companies where you do not have the contract. The company does not want to give a contract. The company takes you. You are here. You are dumped somewhere. You are not paid. You are not given for. You are given poor accommodation. You are somewhere. You are dumped and you are left there forever. You become a slave of your slave. And that's what happens. So before you go to that recruitment agency or before you go to that agency, as yourself, what initiative do you have to take as you the person? Try to find out the little information. Don't go into the beep of you trying to rush to hurry. We are so much disadvantaged. For example, people are coming from Africa. For the people coming from Asia, I will not have to complain about you because you remember, Qatar has a lot of recruitment uh, agencies or have a lot of what you call the visa section recruitment agencies in your country. People coming from Philippines, you agree with me. People coming from Sri Lanka, you agree with me. People coming from Nepal, you agree with me. People coming from Asia, you know where to go. And people coming from Bangladesh, you definitely know where to go. But what about people who are coming to Africa? Where do you have to go? There is nowhere to go because Qatar does not even have, uh, Qatar does not have visa centers in our countries. So it becomes very hard for us to differentiate who is, who is who is going to get me a genuine job and who is not going to get me a genuine job at one way or the other. But for the initiative to fight up this, it has to start with you as a person. Also try to find out what is this company. What is this company? Yes, you can't do that. You can't take the initiative to do that. 
try to ask what job am I going to do? Which company am I going to work to? And if that agent or that man of power agent is telling you pay all the commission before I look for you the job or before I give you the job, definitely, you definitely know that this is a fake person that is trying to take advantage of you in that kind of scriptural period and is going to let you fall in trouble when you reach here. And that's where our brothers and sisters have ended up falling in what you call trouble. Being dumped somewhere and nowhere, no one has to take care of them. There's no food, there's not given food in one way or the other. So definitely, what I would urge for anyone that you go to a recruitment agency, as it is one of the it is one of the fastest ways to come. For example, people are planning to come to Qatar. I think getting a recruitment agency, if you get one and it's genuine, yes, come with it. Because it's now the only option that we are left to come into the country. If you are going to talk about a VC visa, VC visas to Qatar a little bit very hard. Unless you are coming to what you call a family visa. But still even the family visas itself, there are some requirements that you are supposed to fulfill if you are coming under what you call a family sponsorship or what you could call a family visa visa. So definitely, you find it's a little bit very tricky for you, but what I would urge you to you, before you go to that agent, also try to find out in one way or the other, how does this company apply? How does this manpower or this recruitment agents uh, the, uh, work? Uh, ask around people, try to ask people who are trying to move. Go to the social media, drop in. Is anyone who knows about this company or this recruitment agency? Yes, you'll get the reaction of the people or you'll get the comments of the people. The people will let you know. Other than you keeping it yourself, you, you deposit money, then after you begin crying and say, this, this and so took my money. Yes, get that agency advertises the job. Let's, let's say, for example, this company, most of these recruitment agencies even advertise companies or advertise salary that is even does not exist. For example, you find a one recruitment agency advertising salary of a security guard and is applying, is advertising 2.5 as a salary of a security guard in Qatar, which has never existed, which does not exist, which they is definitely they are trying to fake you around in one way or the other. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Uh, I'm not being harsh, but I want to let to share with you guys. I want us to be the same. I want us, we all move because we're all here for the reason and we came to look for a bread for ourselves. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much. It's Max from the next question. See you again in the next video.